It was 200 yards back to shore with an aggressive tiger shark in pursuit, a tiger shark that was coming back for more. Now, all in all, a very close call for a stand-up paddleboarder off South Maui this morning when a shark bit the back of his inflatable board. Someone helped him back to shore with the shark right behind him. And warning signs are posted from Cove Park to Waipuilani Park. Manolo Morales has more. Manolo. Joe, because the paddleboard was punctured, it was losing air fast, so there wasn't much time to get back to safety. Next thing I know, bam, my board gets bit. I fall off. All I'm thinking is get on the board, lie flat, don't stick any arms out in the water. As soon as I get back on, I get on quick. Larry Alberto says he had seen fish jumping out of the water before the attack happened, so he knew that there might be a shark around. He had just decided to head back in when the shark bit into his inflatable paddleboard. Fortunately, there was another paddleboarder nearby who came to help. I'm thinking it's 200 plus yards to shore, and if I don't get a ride, it's going to be me and the shark swimming. So he comes over and gets my paddle, and I hang on the back of his board with my flat board kind of giving me protection and buoyancy. While he wasn't hurt, the ordeal wasn't over. He says the shark, about 10 feet long, then started following them as they raced back to shore. During that time, Alberto was putting more weight on the other man's board because the inflatable one was losing buoyancy. He sees the shark kind of lurking. I'm laying flat on the board just trying to get back. So I'm, I'm just thinking mission shore. Alberto is 57 years old and recently retired racing cars and speedboats. He's been fortunate throughout his career and grateful that his luck hasn't run out. I believe in dumb luck and circumstance. I've, like I said, I'm racing cars and boats. I've had things happen to me that I've walked away from. And I've watched other people go through similar incidents and not walk away. Now, officials will inspect the area tomorrow to determine if it's safe to go in the water. Alberto says he will go stand up paddling again, but not with an inflatable board and not by himself. Joe. Thanks, Manolo.